St. Francis of Assisi is in a residential area and across the street from Prairie View A&M University. Our campus was dark. We had no exterior lighting in the parking lot as well as the exterior lighting around the building, on the building at the time of installation was beginning to fail. By receiving the Kane Fund, we were able to install parking lot lighting and as well as replace the exterior lighting around the building with LED lights. In addition, we added a new electronic sign. Our old sign was more than 10 feet tall and required that someone climb a ladder and replace the letters manually. The new electronic sign not only provides greater visibility for St. Francis property, but it also affords us the opportunity to broadcast any relevant events or community events. And last but not least, we added a water filtration cooler, which has reduced our need to purchase bottled water. St. Prairie View does not offer a recycling, so the empty bottles were going into the landfill. So we use this as an opportunity to improve our waste management and to be better stewards of our environment. The importance of the Kane Fund and the Racial Justice Initiative is it allows churches, particularly for the Kane Fund, historically black churches, and for other churches to not only improve their property, but also to improve their visibility in the community. We just wanna thank the diocese for the RJI Fund, specifically the Thomas Kane Grant, in order to help us out with some needed repairs to our roofs here at St. James Episcopal Church. We wanna thank you from the bottom of our hearts for partnering with us to do the work of the gospel here in Third Ward and do it in a way in which our buildings are a blessing to our members and the community. So thank you so much for all you do. God bless you. St. James has stretched to always put mission first and has always had a larger imagination for mission than our physical campus can handle. The Thomas Kane Grant helped us to get our worship space up to the task of live streaming and entering into our hybrid future of worship and education. In doing this, we also addressed some long-standing and really vexing audio and acoustic issues that have undermined the fullness of our welcome. Once the work was done, so many people approached me saying things like, hallelujah, finally, I got to hear and to understand the entire sermon. And I am so glad that that was a good thing. <laughs> On behalf of the vestry and of the people of St. James, I want to say thank you. Thank you for your commitment to our historic Black congregations who over many, many years have wholeheartedly been working hard at making do and making things new.